Hey everybody, it's Jen. I'm here to share a scrapbook layout that I'm going to make for you guys. But first, I wanted to show you what I got. So I got two packages this week. The first one I cannot share with you until May 1st. Hi Angela. Hi Danny. Oh Danny, I was supposed to meet you today, wasn't I? I just saw you and it reminded me. Oh, I forgot, Danny. I'm sorry. So I got two shipments this week, and like I was saying, I can't show you the one because it's all new stuff. Then I can show you what's in this one, and then we'll get busy making a scrapbook layout that's really quick and really cute, I think. So, hi, Holly. Let's see what I got. That's my invoice. So, Ooh, okay, so I got the texture paste. And there's one that's opaque, one that's transparent, and one that's transparent gloss. And I've got a lot of things planned for this to share with you guys, a lot of projects. I'm going to do some mixed media stuff. So I got that. I was pretty excited about ordering that. These, oh, okay. So these are the spray pens. And I'm good, Holly. How are you, hun? You can put water. And hi, Cheryl. You could put water and ink, like re-inker in here, and make your own kind of like a paint spray for a background. But look how big these are. I thought they were only about that big, guys. But on the website, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, look, and they've got little lines on them. So you can oh, measure stuff out. Cool, I can't wait to start playing with these. Cannot wait. All right, what else? Oh. I got the 3D foam dots, and I got the thin 3D foam dots. These are great to pop up elements on your scrapbook layout and on your cards and things like that. So I might use some of these tonight. What is this? Oh, wait, we'll go for, hold on. Let me, let me, here, okay, this is the round sponge. This is what I was telling you guys about in the one video I did. If you don't have ink daubers, this sponge is $1.50. You can cut it. I'm going to right here in front of you guys because this is what I bought it for to show you. You can cut it, okay, into wedges to work with blending ink on your project. And that's the only reason I bought this is to use it for that and to show you guys a cheaper alternative. You know, I'm going to keep it real with you, I'm not out to just make a buck. I want you guys to enjoy the things that you order. I don't want you ordering stuff you're never going to use. These are the reinkers I got. I'm going to open the bag. I got, had to get mink. You guys, mink is my favorite color. It is a great color. I got the sugar plum. And I got lagoon. Because I'm going to do a little thing that I'm going to, a technique that I'm going to show you guys with reinkers. But I'm going to tell you, when you buy an ink pad, don't buy a reinker because you're not going to need it for a long time. If it's an ink pad that's going to be discontinued and you really like the color, you can get the reinker. The reinkers are cheaper than the ink pads, you guys. So when your ink pad runs out, don't throw it away. Just get a reinker, and it takes it doesn't take a whole bottle to reink your pad. Okay, it this reinker is going to last you a long time. All right, so I got the Tombow piece, which is supposed to be more um, of a permanent bond. There it is, permanent bond. I got that for scrap layouts because it's acid free and I got a refill to go with it. So I don't know. I'll try to let you guys know. You know I will. I'm running out of room here. Okay, so I'm excited about this. So I finally got my stamp cleaner. Finally, finally. I have been taking them and washing them in the sink. Oh, I need to back open. So this oh that's nice that's what you clean your stamps on you guys this is the little brush pad you see it the profile and you spray this on your stamp rub your stamp on this don't spray this you'll end up it can get moldy or you know it's gonna be really really dry if you spray this to make sure it's really good dry before you Stick this stuff out of my way. And I got 
the first thing I, I wanted this, and I'm going to use it tonight. We're going to try it out. I'm getting ready to start. I'm just going to make a one-page layout tonight, you guys. Look at the Versa mat. Oh, isn't that awesome? I love it. I love it. So what's great about this is it has something on it. It's 12 by 12, and it's got the measurements. No, you can't see the top. There we go. It's got the measurements that go all the way to 12, all the way around. Okay, so it helps you to line things up and keep things straight when you're going to work on a layout. And see, my layout fits in there perfectly. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to move this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I already started. I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of my way, you guys. Because i got to have room to work. Room to work. I'm pretty excited about the stuff I got, and I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to everybody who's ordered from me. I hit my straight to the top level three in 45 days. I had to hit 1,200 in sales in 90 days, and I got it in 45. I get um, a huge package bundle coming of all kinds of neat things. I'm going to have another one of these too because it's in there. So when that comes, I will show you guys. Okay, so what I did was I took um, a piece of black cardstock and I cut it down to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. This is the mix-ins. And then this is the other side of it. Oh, focus here. Focus, focus, focus. Come on. Anytime. I'm going to have to give it something to focus on. There we go. So this is the other side of that mix-in that I use, and I wanted the polka dot side. So I am going to, I went ahead and made a lot of um, stuff for it ahead of time. Like you see, did you see these flowers sitting over here? So I stamped all of these out from our stamp of the month, Love So Sweet. And I stamped them in Canary and Lagoon. And I did first and second generation. And for those who don't know, a first generation is when you stick it in the ink pad and stick it down on your paper. A second generation is when you don't re-ink it and you stamp again. So I'll show you. First generation. Second, it's a little bit lighter. I'll put it on top, see? So you actually... It's like getting two different colors out of your ink pads. Okay, so I went ahead, like I said, and prepared some stuff in the beginning. So I had this thought. I wanted to do it, of course, the yellow, turquoise, and black. And I thought, I want to use diamonds, like a diamond pattern for my layout this goes this way i want the stripes to go that way i went ahead and cut the pattern paper this is the same sheet i'm just using both sides and i matted it onto lagoon cardstock so i could bring that color in and let me get these laid out i'm going to measure yes you heard me right i'm going to measure and figure out where center is so that i can get it just right so i thought wouldn't that be kind of cute as a backdrop to our layout? So I went ahead and matted my photo placeholders. I'm using three by four. And I plan on putting one up here and one here. That's my plan, Stan. You know how that goes, though. Things change. Things change. And I've got some other things that I'm going to do to it. But right now... I want to, I'm going to find center first, so I'm going to get my ruler, and it goes, it's hard to see this on this black, you guys, so, I know it's going to be up a little bit, this is my 12 inch ruler. 
and I'm going to make a little mark there for six. And then I'm going to come over here on the six, line it up with the six down here. And I'm just going to lightly, because you're not going to see it. Oh, I can just line it up with the six here because I think I'm, oh, wow, this makes it so much nicer, you guys. All I have to do is line it up. I'm going to do it above it, though, because I can't see it sitting this far back. And there. It's kind of like laying floor tile. So if you were laying, you know, floor tile, you would stick your first piece here, your second piece here, and so on. But I'm not doing that. My first piece needs to go right in the center. So what I plan on doing is lining. I'm going to make my lines a little bit longer. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that without having to measure and measure and measure. Because you know I don't like to. And then I can just go back and erase the lines. Okay. So since this is going to be diagonal, I'm just going to line these points with this pencil line and these points with this one. And see, that's going to work right there and then everything else should fall into place the right way i'm just going to check real quick and make sure see where i'm at i'm going to find my inch side so i am five, five oops You know what? This is a repositionable kind of. I'll just stick that on there. Line these up. There we go. I don't know if we got any on there. Okay. So I want to put that in the center. And that is five from the end. So that is the center. From here, it just doesn't look like it, but it is. It is. All right. I need to make some room here. So what I thought I would do is take my white daisy ink. You guys know I love that. I'm going to use that on this layout too, I think. But I'm going to give it a squish. Give it a squish. bit more than that all right so see I've got quite a bit of ink in there I'm gonna get my water brush which still has water in it I just keep it in the in the bag in case I ever need the label to read it to somebody or whatever put some water in here and get this going I thought I might want a few. I'm going to move this because I don't want to get it on there. Paint splatters in white. Just up here. And a few down here. I do this a lot when I paint. And they're not going to be, you know, real thick. They're not going to be real predominant. They're, they're going to dry, and they're going to kind of fade into the background. So I just thought it would add a little bit of texture and interest. So I'm going to wipe this out because I don't want that much water in it. Wipe that out. Put that on there. This is how you clean your water brush. You just squirt it out till it runs clear. Stick my lid back on. I don't know if I'll use it again, but we'll see. I'm going to turn on my heat tool for a second, you guys.
So you guys see the water. Okay, my paper's going to curl because it's getting warm, but it'll straighten back out. All right. I'm just going to come in here and get my big blobs. There we go. So that my paper's not wet. Okay, so I've got that. So now I'm going to go back and get my piece. Make sure, let's see, I want it to go that way. I'm just going to use some of this adhesive here until I can get it. Hopefully my head is not in the way. All right, there's my first piece down. And now all I have to do is just follow that pattern. And I want to leave a little gap in between, probably about, oh, between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch. I want to leave in between there so that you can see the black through there and it breaks it up. Otherwise, I would have just used one solid sheet. But I went ahead and, like I said, cut all this stuff ahead of time and got it ready because I didn't feel like you guys would really want to. You know sit here and watch me okay now that I've got those I'm gonna come back in and erase my lines because you can't really see them in between erase my lines so what's everybody working on is anybody else working on scrapbook projects I need to get some oh I got grandkids that are starting sports baseball started I'm so behind but I think everybody is. I am going to be doing a special about, you know, photos and why we don't have to scrap every photo we take and what to do with the photos that we don't scrap because some people throw them away. Well, I can't. Once I see it, I don't, you know, I'll throw away a blurry one. Jody and I were talking about that on the phone the other night. You know, we both said that we would throw away a blurry one or, you know, if it's a shot of the back of somebody's head, you know, something like that. But make sure I'm doing this right. Let's see. I think I want this one to go this way. So I wanted to focus, like I said, a diamond pattern, but yet have the whole layout, the movement going this way you know we'll see what happens you know how it is you get something in your head and when you go to do it it may not turn out exactly like you pictured or imagined but I think it will I think it will and get these put down here and then it'll it should move a lot quicker and one more there we go so there's what we have so far and these are black and white like swirly dots and then that's the yellow stripe just in case you can't really tell all right, there's that. So like I said, I wanted to put my photos kind of like this. Okay. And then what I thought I would do is I made 
some little journaling strips to go on here. I love journaling strips on the way out, you guys. You know, it's just so you can write a little bit about your your page and maybe put a, a handwritten title in there. You know, so I thought I would do that. I'm going to get my tweezers. And then I made these little flowers that I thought could go on the the edge. You know, I could put these. Well, no, I really want to keep that flow, though. I want to keep that, you know, that flow going. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down. Get these adhered down. I take my time when I put tape on these guys because I go way off if I'm not careful. And I think I'm going to put it down even a little bit further. There we go. Keep this straight. And keep this straight. You guys, I can't wait to show you the new catalog. So May 1st at 5 a.m. Yes, at 5 a.m. I am going to do a live and show you guys the new catalog while I'm drinking coffee um, on May 1st. And I was going to do it at midnight because we're allowed to show it. Well, I would be allowed to show it. Oops. And see that adhesive? This is the close to my heart adhesive. I love it. It rubs right off of you. Need to reposition, you can, but it holds everything in place, so you can go ahead and stick it in your folder. So there's that. And then I'm going to use liquid glass to put my. You know what? I think this would be a good test for my thin 3D foam dots. Because I don't want them to stick up very far. It's going to go into a page protector. And I just need a little one. Here's the small ones. They come in different sizes. Um, two sizes. And that's the bigger one. Set that aside. And like I said, that's the small one. And all you do is sticky on both sides. I use tweezers, but I just pull it off. Stick it where I want it. Pull the, I call it a band-aid covering off. And then I'm going to stick this this way. Oh, that's cute. I like how it's sticking up just a little bit, you guys. I do, I do, I do. Yeah, I stamped all these out earlier because I thought I'm not going to make you guys watch me stamp. And fussy cut all these flowers. Aren't you glad? Don't you love me for that? Oh. We're going to shut that off. Usually I give it to my husband and he takes care of it. Let's see. I turn my. There we go. Now it's on vibrate. But I forgot to give it to him. And my daughter was texting me, so. And then one more. And I kind of took the flowers and kind of bent them a little bit, you know, just to bend the petals. Hi, Angie. How are you, girl? I haven't seen much of you lately. Have you been busy? Imagine that. We all have busy lives, right? Who'd have thought? Yeah, I was just today. I was like, I mean, I've seen you post a couple of things, but I haven't really seen much of you. And I was like, she, I wonder if she's been really busy. What's going on with her? I think about you when I don't see you. All right. So I like 
the journaling strips on the page. And now I am going to stick some flowers on here. So I thought it would be cute to kind of make them stick off of the page a little bit. I think I'm going to put these over here and put that like that. And then this one here, maybe like that. Can you see that? And then I thought I have these two. And I thought I'd put those here. And I have these are not stuck together. I need to put this one like yeah, I think so. I'll maybe move this one over here. Because I want to put my my title going that way. I've got some more here. Let's see. And I've got more over here. Oh my, I think I want a blue one there. I think I want the blue one. Maybe come over here a little bit. And then a little yellow flower. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think? Oh, Angie, you're always busy. Always. We need to meet like halfway. I think it would only be an hour for each of us. And go have lunch one day and maybe scrap. You know, I think we could have some fun. And just get away from it for a little while. What do you think about that? Uh, see, I really want to make a, cl a cluster up here. And that's my plan, Stan. So, I think... Instead of that yellow, I'm going to go dark blue first, then a lighter blue, and then the yellow with it. And I'm going to glue this one to my page. I'm going to get my liquid glass. Yeah, this layout isn't going to take very long. I didn't want to make it too busy, but I thought it's a great way to use those mix-ins. I love the mix-in paper pack, you guys. And I'm going to be sad when it leaves. I ordered another one. Just because I love dots and I love plaid. And so this one I'm going to put on one of those. If I can get it here. My nails are too long. I'm going to put it on one of the thin ones. Peel the backing off. And put it on there. So that it's just a little bit higher. And then looky here. I've got. Whoops. Wrong package. I've got the 3D foam, the thicker one. So let me try one of these on the little flower. I've been wanting to try these out. And I get them in my bundle that I won. So I'm going to stick my arm in your way because I'm grabbing that flower. I'm just going to stick that there. And this one's going to stick up a little bit higher. And I'm okay with that. Isn't that cute? You know. Oh, Angie. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, I hear you. I'm about ready to go on vacation, I tell you. All right, so I've got some silver thread. The silver embellishing thread. I love this stuff, you guys. And I already let the cat out of the bag in another video. We've got gold coming in May. Whew, I'm excited. So this is the silver thread. Can you guys really kind of see, see it? It's a metallic. I love it. So I was thinking that maybe I would. Let me hold it here. Wrap it around my hand, my fingers, whatever, a couple of times. Okay. Cut that. And then take another piece. A little bit longer. I'm going to. 
and wrap it around. This is so hard to do with one hand, but it is possible. You just got to have patience and don't do it when you're filming. Right? Right. Wrap that little guy back around. Okay. So grab that. Take this off. Because what I'd like to do, I should have called my husband in here and had him tie it for me. Okay, Ange, come tie this for me. I would do it for you. All right. So, see how it makes kind of a, a crazy bow? And I'm going to trim that one off. But I thought, what if I... Where's my scissors? What if I tuck this up under here just to bring a little more to this cluster? What do you think? Can you guys see that? That's kind of cute, isn't it? I'll turn it a little bit because I can't have it sticking off the page. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So. How am I going to do this? Let's see. Because I already stuck that flower down. I'm just going to lift it up. Squirt some liquid glass under there. And stick this puppy in there. And then stick the flower down on top. And go under there. I'm going to trim this one off to you guys. So I've got other stuff to go on here that I want to see on here. So there. How's that? You guys think this is looking okay so far? I love these little, I just love these little flowers, you guys. Can you see the white spatter I made? And then I did it again down here. I'm liking it okay. It's, you know, thanks, Angie. Yeah. So let's we'll let that set up for a minute. Okay, so I've got these other flowers I'm going to work with, but I thought. What else would be really cute is if we took, <coughs> excuse me, oh my gosh, you guys, we're fighting colds. My husband's got it really bad. His voice is so deep. Oh. But I thought, oops, I would take, I'm spilling sequins everywhere, you guys. And I've got another bag here. It's over here. I separated, these are the, you guys, I can't remember. These are either so much happy or the new ones. The mix, they're mixed. And I separated them out. Whoops, I don't need that many, but I've got green and I've got blue. And I thought, bring this up. I can't wait to get a different white, but... Can you see it's about the same color blue? And then that's green. I thought about... Hi, Paula. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is take some of these. And I'm just going to take my glue and just make some dabs where I think I might want a sequence. And I do everything in odds, you guys. I don't do anything in even numbers when I create. I'm going to put a green one there. And I'll put a blue one here. I'll put a green one. Let's see. <laughs> a green one here. I really like the green. It's pretty. It's like a fern green. Yeah, I think these are really going to be cute on that black. And I'll just put another blue over here. Oh, I think I need another. Let's see. I don't know, because I really want to keep it going this way. I've really got to be careful not to. So the other thing that I got out was, i got to find them, was the Bitty Sparkles. You guys, these are so cute. 
so cute. Oh, if I can get it open. Oh my goodness. They're both the same size. Both flaps are. Not one is just a little bit higher than the other. Look how little these are. Aren't those cute? I just love them. So I thought a couple of these might be pretty on here. I've just got to be able to get them off without flinging them all over my desk because I usually do that. And I'll just set some wherever I want them. And, but I thought they would go really pretty with that silver thread. Okay. And I've got those white paint splatters going on. So I just thought it would lend something to it, you know. This layout's going to be for my granddaughter. And she's very girly. Sorry, my hand's in the way, you guys. Okay. So... There's that corner cluster. Can you see it? And then look, let me get my finger over here. That's a bitty sparkle. That's one. It just adds a little bit to the page. Aren't they cute? Love them, love them, love them. All right. So, I do think I need another green sequence, though. Right there. I keep looking at it. Oops, there's two up in there, I believe. Yep, there was. And then I think I need a blue one right here. I just thought it needed a couple more. Are we ever done with embellishments? Oh. There. I just thought it needed a couple more. Okay, I'm going to pour these back in the... Hopefully back in the package and not in my lap. Because they're still falling out. I have these little bags up for some other embellishments that I had. So I thought I'd put these sequins in there. Yeah, that wasn't real smart. I should have left them all mixed together, dumped them out in a pile, and just picked out what I needed when I needed it. I thought I was being, you know, responsible and organized. But I do live a chaotic life, and I do love my chaotic life. And I guess the sequins fit right in there. Okay. I'm going to pick these up just so I don't lose them. So that's the green. And there's my blue. I wonder where Gisela is. Usually she pops in to say hi. And I don't see her today. She was making banana bread, you guys, yesterday. Whew. I was like, I need some banana bread. I haven't made any for a long time. Okay. So, now I think I'm ready to put my photo placements down. And I am going to use the uh, foam dots for that because I want to pop them up just a little bit. And I'm using the thin, not the thick ones. These foam dots are, oh my gosh, once you start using stuff like this, you don't remember what it was like to not use it, because they just make it that much easier. They make everything simple, and I love them. Love them. I have the foam tape, the foam tape coming, and I'm anxious to try that out. See, that just pops it up just a little bit, and if I want to go back and slip something in, I can, you know, and it's going to stay in place. It's going in a protector sheet, a memory protector. I might even add flip flaps to this page. You heard it, flip flaps. I love flip flaps. I really do. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm straight. 
So there's that one. And now, here they are. I'm going to do... You know what? It might be quicker if I just do it like this. They like being on the carrier sheet. That's for sure. Oh, man, my thumbnail's stuck. These are pretty sticky, you guys. Pretty sticky. I'd say they'd hold pretty good. You can also use these on your flowers that you make. Instead of gluing your flowers down, you can use these and pop them up a little bit. I think they work pretty good for that. I think I'm almost done. Okay. So then this one. Goes right there. Okay, does that look okay so far? We shall see, we shall see. Alright, I'm going to start gluing these down because there's stuff that I want to do to the flowers. Oops. There's that one. There's that one. There's that one. And I think I'm going to take the little foam dots and stick them on here. So I woke up this morning and my face looks like one big hive and looks like I've got a really bad sunburn, but it's swollen. And we're not sure what it is. So I'm going to take some Benadryl after the video. I was going to take it before and I thought I better not. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take some Benadryl and see if that helps. And if it's not better in a couple of days, I'm going to go to the doctor. The last time I did this, it was an allergic reaction to a medicine. And I'm not taking anything new. I do take medication, but like I said, it's not anything new. I am going to go right there. But... The only thing that I've been doing different is I've been adding um, lemon slices to my water every day and several times a day. And I'm wondering if it's from the lemons, you guys. I've never been allergic to them, but they say you can develop an allergic reaction to anything at any time. I got a little bit of liquid glass right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so now... I'm going to put my lid back on there. I want to use... This is April Stamp of the Month, Love So Sweet. I thought Happy Times would be a good one for this layout. Look how much I've used this, you guys. So that's stained with the sapphire. That's stained, that's stained, that's stained with red. That's stained with green and red, yellow. And that's stained blue and if they're stained it's okay it does not affect the way they work not at all okay our stamps come with a cushy the cushy is your base for stamping i'm gonna see if i can find a piece of white i wonder if i want to do it on black let's try it and see what happens right i could always change it it's scratch paper and it's not attached I just wonder what it would look like if I did it in white on black and then mat matted the black either on white or the um, lagoon. And it is supposed to be offset. I'm just trying to get it straight. There we go. Okay, so there's that. So what's cool is, I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to flip this over because, you guys, this is for stamping. Isn't that awesome? It is for stamping. I'm going to stamp on, stamp on black, 
And here's my white ink. I'm gonna put this in front of me because I wanna make sure. I love this ink. If you guys didn't see the video I made about this ink and trying it out, you need to go watch it. It is amazing. I was so, I'm still amazed, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this towards me a little bit just so I can get it straight. Sorry, I'm trying to stamp where you guys can see me stamp, but yet. Okay, I don't want to leave too much of a blur. So I'm gonna press it down. And look, look, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I love it. Oh, I don't have my stamp cleaner out. You guys, I'm gonna have to use my wet paper towel. Use my wet paper towel and I'll clean these when I'm done. I washed all my daubers and I don't know why I did that. My finger daubers because they don't come clean completely, but they needed washed. And this way I figure I'm, you know, good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna move this out of my way. I'm gonna move this out of my way. I'm gonna turn this back over. For, oops, sorry you guys, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I hope I didn't make anybody sick. Hi, Denise. Well, thank you. You love what, hun? i I'm glad you made it. We all get busy, don't we? I actually didn't do too much today. I had my granddaughter, my three-year-old granddaughter, but we, had, we hung out and played. So I also thought that I would take so there's this little bitty, little bitty flower. See that? I thought I would take that and get my little one inch block here. And I'm not gonna put a cushy under it, you guys. I've already used it before, but, but I thought what I would do with this is get that white ink. And I'm gonna twist and pat. And I thought, wouldn't it be cute if I just added a little white flower to some of these? Let's see, I'll put this one right here. Oops. Isn't that the great thing about seeing through these? We can just line it right back up. And I can't see that one, it's up too high. So I'm gonna have to bring this down. Stick my head in the camera. I think that's cute. I love white ink. I'm telling you, I can't say it enough. I want to stick another one, you guys. Maybe right here, and right here, and right here, and right here. Oops. Let's stick that back on there, and right there. I don't think I'm pressing with even pressure. There we go. What do you think? You think those flowers look okay? Wipe this stuff off. All right, I'm going to put this back because this is a little guy and I don't want to lose it. <coughs> yep. So who doesn't have this set yet? I'm telling you. I love it. I love it. I use it all the time. These flowers, I'm going to tell you, these, these butterflies are the ones that I did. Let's see if I can reach it over here. Is that the butterfly? It is. So this card here, there it is. I'll draw you guys the one I did in the video with the inky techniques and things like that. But this is that butterfly. Okay. I use it all the time. I use that butterfly all the time. I love these leaves, but these flowers are easy to stamp and cut around. So are these leaves. All of them are, really. Everything in this is. I love it. It's, it's one of my favorites. I have to say, you guys know the budding peony is probably my all-time favorite, but all right, back to this. 
So now, get my sentiment here, and I'm gonna. So this is my new close to my heart paper turner, and let me clear some of the stuff out of my way. We're almost done, you guys. We are almost done. I'm gonna move the layout out of my way because I want to. Can you guys see me okay? Can you guys see okay? I'm just going to trim this up. I just didn't want that light glaring up. I'm just putting it in there, eyeballing it, trimming it to where I think it should be. I love this paper trimmer. I did have some issues with it that I got straightened out. Um... The scoring blade goes here too on this track. This is the cutting blade. This is a big paper trimmer, but it's real light. And it has an arm that extends out, but look, there's no gap in measurement. I love that my other paper trimmer didn't have that. There was a gap and I had marker lines all over it. But here's the cutting blade, okay? Here's your arm. This will lock. See, you can't lift it. This locks your arm in place. Um, the scoring blade goes here. And it, it's nice. There's a deep groove in here to score. But the problem is, when you have this up here, and you're trying to score a full 12-inch sheet, or you have it down here, you're trying to, you can't. You can't even cut a full 12-inch sheet. So, yeah, whoever designed it didn't think too, too clear that way. They weren't the brightest bulb in the pack, but we still love them. We still love them. Okay, so bring this back in, and now i got to figure out where, you know what, it's not going to fit because I put those flowers there, and I'm not taking them, well, maybe I can take them off, because see, I thought about putting this right here, actually, like right there is what I thought about. But I put those flowers right there. I was meant to put them up here. That's all right. I'm just going to take them off because if I rip it, this liquid glass, though, ooh, you guys. Okay, I'm going to leave that one. It's flat. So I'm going to leave that one. So I think I'm going to mat this on some white. Here, this is all my scratches over here to the side of me. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to stick it, turn out the right way. I got it all over there. It just rubs off. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, I hope this is a straight piece of cardstock, you guys, because this was in my scrap bin, is put it on here. Oh, you know what? No. <laughs> well, yeah, I am. I was going to, I was going to do, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Get this stuff out of my way. So here's the lagoon. And look. That black looks really pretty on there, doesn't it? But I could stick it on here. Or I could do it like this. I could put, put it like that. Hmm. And same goes. I knew what I was going to do, you know, when I started the video. I think I'm going to leave the white off and I'm going to go with Lagoon, you guys. It matches my other framing. I just didn't want it to be too kitschy, you know. But I really love this color. And I'm not matting it like it was a really thick frame. Just enough to break up that black. I don't have the yellow cardstock, otherwise I would use the yellow. Alright, I gotta bring my 
don't look, you're gonna get a glare. So I'm gonna bring this in and trim this. I'm gonna trim it this way so I can see where I'm gonna be cutting at. Right there. And right there. Trim a little bit. Well, I can do that with my scissors. All right, move that. Move this. Put this back straight. Get all this stuff out of my way. And I think. See, I think that looks good like that. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a left arm Oh, I really do have to cut my nails. They're driving me crazy. I thought I already had one out. No, it was the skinny. Okay. I can't wait to get the foam tape. I said that earlier, but I'm pretty excited about trying it out. I love foam tape, and I've used theirs before, but this is thin. I don't know. I haven't had any for a while, and I don't know if they just started calling it thin. Maybe they called it thin before, and I just never paid attention. I don't know. But I'm excited about... I'm going to put one more. All right. So... And pull these off. We're almost done. I hope you guys weren't bored. I like to watch process videos, but some people don't. You know, I get that. And I'm going to put this. I want to make sure. Oh. Yep, once the foam, that's all right. We'll put it right there, right there. So now what I'm going to do is take my tweezers because I can't pick it up. I thought that I would put some of these. Let me go ahead and glue this one down and glue it down. I figured it'd be easier to see where to put more flowers after I had my title on there. And believe it or not, that's my favorite side of the flower, so I'm going to stick the split in there. I want that flower to just be peeking out from under there. And then that yellow is too light, so I don't think I have a dark little one. Nope, I don't. I don't. So, why don't I do it like this? Find me a, why don't I do it like this? That looks okay. That doesn't look too bad. Put a little glue here. Because I'm actually going to glue it to the title. There we go. That's kind of cute. And then I thought I would put one out here. Yep. Oh, like I said, you get one thing in your head, and it turns out to be something completely different. And I think I'll put this one there. All right. So, now that I've got that, okay. Going back to this. Nope. So, there's another stamp set called IRS. I got this in my card making kit. Um, but you can buy the stamp set. I believe this one's $14.95 or $10.95. I think it's $14.95. But it has these little fl flower centers that go with these flowers that I made. So, I'm going to take a little bitty flower center and get my little bitty block. And I'm going to get, I haven't used this one. There's a dotted one and a solid one. 
and this is the solid one. See how little that is? I'm going to get my, oh, I got to reach it, my intense black. I've got to get the intense black. I was going to emboss the flowers, but I hate running the, okay. Why am I so going to do that one? I think these centers are so cute. I'm going to have to turn this around so I can see these, you guys. And that one doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of stamped on that. Okay. I could have drawn those in, but, you know, I love these little stamps, so. And I love the stamp. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Wipe that off. Find my paper towel. There it is. Oh, you guys should see my desk after I do a video. <laughs> I definitely know how to make a mess. Let's stick this back on the carrier sheet. For those that don't know, this is called the carrier sheet, and it's what holds all your stamps. You've even got a little heart here. But they've got another little flower that I think is really cute. So I'm going to take my white ink. I double stamped. And I'm even gonna put one right there. I thought that's cute. All right, I think you guys, do you think it needs anything else? I think I'm gonna scroll here and see if anybody had any questions. Thank you, Denise. Hey, Monica. Oh, thank you, Denise. You're creative too, girlfriend. All right. So here it is. My 12 by 12 layout called Happy Times. I put a cluster in the corner using sequins and flowers that I stamped and cut out and silver thread. There's my title. My background are the mix-in pattern papers. Same sheet, opposite sides. I use both three by four photos. I just put more flowers. Here's my journaling spots right here. And that's it. It's a really easy page. It seemed like it took forever, but I apologize if it seemed like that for you guys. Um, really easy page to do. Quick, I thought. And I'm trying to concentrate on sticking my stamp back on there because they're really small and I don't want to lose them. So yeah, that's it. Happy times. Because it is happy times when we put photos of the ones that we love on paper. Oh, and I did the splattering with the ink. So, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I thank you guys for being here. Hey, Sylvia. Thank you, Denise. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments or message me. And I will try to... Thank you, Angie. I didn't know you were still here, Angie. And I will try to answer your questions and get back to you. Don't forget to take a look at some of the things I posted. And you guys really share what you are sorry about, you know, sad to see leaving. Um, it doesn't mean you have to buy it. We're just, you know, we're just chatting and it's okay. So, yeah, I'm sad to see a lot of it go, but I'm so excited to show you guys the new stuff. And you guys, I think, will be excited, too. There's something for everyone, and that's what I love about this company. They do have something for everyone. All right, you guys, get some sleep tonight. Thank you for being here. Like I, get, like I said, it was a little bit last minute this morning whenever I decided to do this. Um, God bless you. Sweet dreams. And I will talk to you later. Mwah.